Okay, so here it says, what is 3 times the square root of 10 plus the square root of 8? Don't fall into that trap, right? They Notice they put it as the first choice that this is equal to 3 square root of 10, where they want you to think, oh, it's 3 plus nothing here, it's 3, and 2 plus 8 is 10, but this does not work. And you don't have to memorize it, you can just try it for any any simple um any simple perfect square. So let's say I have the square root of 4 plus the square root of 4. And we say, all right, 3 times the square root of 4 plus the square root of 4. Does that equal 3 times the square root of 8? Well, no, because the square root of 4 is 2, right? So 2 times 3 plus 2, right? the square root of 4 is 2, equals 8. Well, the square root of 8 is between 2 and 3, right? There's 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9, pretty close to 3. And 3 times a little bit less than 3 is not 8, right? 3 goes into 8 2 and, excuse me, 2 thirds of the time. So it might be pretty close in this case, but it's certainly not equal. Um, okay, so let's keep going. What do we do here? Well, the goal is, just like in most algebra problems, if you have, let's say, 3x plus something like x, well, this is three groups of x plus another group of x is equal to four groups of x, right? We want to try and get that logic here, so we want to try and have the same uh, variable or same radical sign. So I'm going to break down the square root of 8. Well, 8 itself is equal to 4 times 2. We'll find the prime factorization. It's 2 times 2 times 2. And this just allows me to say, oh, well, the perfect square there is, two, is 4. So here, the square root of 8, we can think of it as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. These are equal. The square root of a number uh, is equal to the square root of the product right, of its factors, which is what I'm showing you right here. So the square root of 4 is 2, and radical 2 can't be broken down any further, but this is equal to the square root of 8. And this is nice because now what we have, go back to our original problem, 3 radical 2, right? We have 3 radical 2 plus radical 8. Well, we couldn't really add these because radical 2 and radical 8 are different amounts, but now we have 3 radical 2 plus 2 radical 2. We rewrote the square root of 8. So we have, in a sense, 3x, of 3 of some, 3 groups of something, plus 2x, 2 groups of something. That would equal 5x, so here we get 5 radical 2. So that's our answer. And that was, I think, choice 3. Thanks.